Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the era of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Well, we've had another user request to build a semi-dreadnought. That's not easy right now, but I think I found one that can be built or at least get close to it, and that would be a Redensky class battleship of the Austro Hungarian Empire. So we're going to give that a shot. Looking at it, it looked like she was they were commissioned from 1908 to 1918. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll make any difference or not. We're going to start off the battle at about 10,000 meters. We're going to take a couple of battleships, a heavy cruiser, and some torpedo boats, which are really dangerous little beggars, and uh, go up against an equivalent force of Italians. I think I need to unlock this. Now, I'll tell you straight up. When I go to design this, if I get into the uh, this shipyard and find that a hull is missing or whatever, I may change this up. Uh, who can say? But uh, that's what that's that's the plan. That's the plan for the day. So what do you say? We get after it. I'll be back in just a moment with everything built up. But first, we're going to do the YouTube ritual, which is I build these videos on a Saturday morning, which just happens to be. And I drink my pathetic cup of coffee and I try to stay awake to do this and if you like if you like the videos if you like the channel then you subscribe like share and comment that's what grows the channel that feeds the algorithm and that's my only reason for existence right now is feeding the algorithm so <laughs> appreciate anybody who would consider doing that and finally if you'd like to help me keep that coffee flowing and you really really like the channel then you can buy me a cup of coffee okay Let's get in there, design the ship, and have us a little Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Well, here she is. Now, as I was playing around building her once, she's way too big, but I don't know what to do about that. It's uh, This is the only hull I could find that made her work. I've got to be careful about that. We'll end up with some parts are badly placed. All right, and uh, that kind of gets her her weight down but I mean she is really oversized uh, you know 10,000 tons maybe really large but it's what we can do it's the only hell I could get that I could wedge all these guns on um, how the AI does it I don't know the other thing I discovered is that one source calls it Redesky or Redesky the other source calls it at Erskog Franz Ferdinand class so I went ahead and named it uh, after with the second source and uh, the more knowledgeable people who watch will probably have something to say about that uh, and uh, you know, what are you going to do um, I can make her a lot lighter by throwing in better quality armor honestly I don't know what size what armor she ought to have I found pretty good agreement on the ranges of the specific armors here um, with normal exceptions like turret tops being unknown I don't know what kind of explosives to give her. I gave her white powder. Uh, I think she should be double hulled, and I think she should have some anti-torpedo, although that might be a bit much. Um, she does have three torpedo tubes, uh, one each in the beams and one in the stern. She's good for 20 and a half knots, which makes her kind of quick. And, uh, yeah, there she is. Let's see, 2 times 12, 2 times 2 12 inch guns, 4 times 8, 8 inch guns, 10 4 inch guns, 4 3 inch guns, 4 2 inch guns, and 3 underwater tubes. And I say, despite my reservations about her, we go play. And we, we go play. Now the torpedo boats are really, really, really dangerous. Um, we've already got shooting happening. Let's take a look at what we're spotting. 
Yeah, guess what? They found uh, a way to put even more guns. I know that hull. I know that hull. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I'm just thinking that that's probably a dangerous, uh, a dangerous opponent. Let's detach these torpedo boats. Oops, no. Alright. All the racket. Unpause for a second there. Maybe it'll quiet it down a little bit. Um. These guys have got torpedoes that are good for... Six kilometers. Not bad. If I get this one under control. Cool. Our heavy cruiser is on the wrong side of the world. She's a 9 incher. She's got really some fast but short range torpedoes. I want these guys. Oh, they are such dogs. I want these guys to come. Yeah, we're not going to be doing any, uh, not going to be doing any fancy maneuvers with the, uh, with the battleships. They're, uh, they're pretty ugly. Let's go. And, of course, their torpedo boats are going to show up and be terrifying because they really are hard to hit come on around girl and I think we have now officially spotted some of their light forces that looks like their heavy cruiser well Uh, I'm tempted to put these guys on AI. I really am. I don't know what they do if I do it. Let's uh, let's see what happens if I tell that one to go AI. He actually starts doing something pretty smart. So let's uh, let's focus on our battleships. That's an interesting choice for the AI to do. What kind of what kind of torpedo range does that boy have? Uh, I don't know, but the cat's between me and the monitor right now. You can see his tail just passed in front of the camera, and I have to pause the game. <sighs> Pet him a couple of times, get him settled so he doesn't stand or sit on the keyboard. and try to remember where I was before I was so rudely interrupted by the kitty because that's what he does alright come around a little bit like that maybe a little bit more like that and you just keep hooking it up like that he's already put torpedoes in the water I suspect that's an attack on the uh heavy cruiser and he just got hammered come to think of it they don't have smoke so they are on their own since I've got them on AI they are on their own and I feel pretty good about that although I think I'm fairly capable when it comes to dealing with the destroyers um, I get so distracted. Okay, we've lost one torpedo boat. Go figure. I get so distracted that I just can't. That just can't play. And let me 
engage there. Looks like the torpedo boats are going to buy the farm. But they're on their own. When their torpedo boats show up, we'll deal with it. I really wanted you to focus on him. Oh, no, I didn't. I did want you to focus on that. That's good. That'll just make us have to completely start aiming again because I lost the beam. And slow her down. Maria Teresa. Kaiserin and Koenig Maria Teresa. I don't think our torpedo boats got past that heavy cruiser for anything. That one's dying horribly. Looks to me like she is effectively dodged any, and I don't have a clue. She's trying to sneak up on him from behind. Okay. Well, so far this has been a bad day for uh, for the good guys. We're down three. Yeah, we're down three. Focus. You to shoot there. Secondary's there. Oh, got a good hit on her. All right. Once again, I am good and confused. Stay there. Yeah, I'm all over this today. See, this is why I'm begging for coffee all the time. I have no idea what I'm doing. And that guy AI on. I don't know why he's AI off, but okay. The heavy cruiser is not taking a lick. Wow. I don't know what hit her. Let's see. She took a heavy shot. Yeah, she took a good 12 inch penetration that must have caused that flotation damage. That's a good thing. We're for that. Where are their torpedo boats? Because they'll probably be the game winners here. Whoa, we got a torpedo hit back there? Really? One of those wild shots? <laughs> well, okay, I'll take that. That was a... Uh... My God! Did she just take another hit? Did I miss something completely? One torpedo. She took an eight. She took an ammo detonation. Look at her. Look at her. Ammo detonation, and it is screenshot time. Well, I don't know. Uh, that's a pretty good one. I wonder if she's a, one of those Lidite using designs. Okay, I'm struggling here. Get rid of that outline, that selection outline. Wow. It's one of those situations where you almost don't want to. Uh, It just lifted her. Those are secondary mounts, and she just. She just gave them up.
Yeah, that's uh, that's ugly. All right, well, maybe things will go more our way than I ever knew. Because that was good and ugly. Alright, I don't know why you are turning that way, but I need you to turn that way. Where's the other battleship? Has she she's over she's out of sight. And where are her torpedo tubes? Right there. She's already put some in the water. Alright, we're trying to pound that heavy cruiser since uh it appears, I had to guess, uh-oh, we found their torpedo boats because I see torpedoes whizzing around over here. Yeah, look, she's in there dealing, she's, she's found her torpedo, she found the torpedo boats. <laughs> Alright, we're back with the battleship over here, so I want you to focus on her. And you focused on her. Keep your... Keep your, keep your steering. And you focus there. Well, we're going to lose that torpedo boat. But she's on AI, so I have an excuse. Alright, let's take a look here. We've yet to get a good screenshot of the star of the piece here. The whole point of... No, that's actually the light cruiser. That's what we want to get a shot of. That's what we want to get a shot of. That's 11. place trying to figure out what to do next there well we've lost our torpedo boats for all practical purposes but we've evaded theirs simply by them not being positioned well which was just absolutely true and turning in this direction which was unconsciously competent Really had oh, oh, we had no idea that torpedo boats getting hammered. We had no idea that going in this direction would put us in a place. All right, there's a torpedo boat there. You need to keep focusing on that. And our torpedo boats over here seems to be keeping this guy occupied. <laughs> uh, I mean, right up to the point that he uh, that he just got hammered. Uh, structural damage. I think that the battleship hit it <laughs> with a 13-incher. Oh my God. Okay, well, that'll slow you down every time. All right, we're having a hard time keeping up with that with that battleship. We're going to have to pick up the speed and try to close. More than likely, more than likely, it's running. We gotta keep watching for those torpedo boats coming the other door or other way. I'm quite incredibly tempted 
just tempted to take yeah, you can keep shooting there yeah, I want you to get back on her I'm really tempted to take our heavy cruiser back to screen us from that direction she doesn't have any torpedo tubes well, let's rock on like we are right now Keep an eye out for torpedo boats. You know, I just can't do it. She's got to go right now in that direction to cover us from from the inevitable approach of those torpedo boats. let her back down and put her on aggressive torpedoes which got them off and running which is what I wanted to give those to give that heavy cruiser something to think about are you running away no not really got to come back over here oh nicely done we got a good hit on her good 12 inch hit and a torpedo hit we actually got a torpedo hit on her with an aggressively targeted torpedo from our heavy cruiser all right you just keep running you've got the battleship just eat up with wanting to shoot at you and I don't want you taking a monsters 13 inch hit All right, slow down a bit slow down a bit I heard somebody take a whack don't know how serious it was you need to come back around as quickly as you can that girl is in trouble. Does, uh, oh yes, look. Look, she's decided that the heavy cruiser was not the thing to shoot at. And start to take shots at our battleships. Bang, there's another good hit. I let her go too far to the rear. She's gonna have some doing to catch up. All right, Franz Ferdinand, I want you to fire there with secondaries on the heavy cruiser. It's already in deep trouble. I want you to close up a little bit. You just keep trucking along. I don't know where her torpedo boats are, but we're in better shape to deal with them. With her coming up from that side than having her charging out there. Now, you ought to be able to. Because these are secondary turrets. Those are not side guns that I put on them. Those are secondary turrets. Get another. This is just really hard to get an interesting screening from that side, isn't it? Unless you can get one like that that has both the ships in the frame. Okay. She's taking some nasty, nasty hits. She's launched torpedoes. It's about time. 18 knots. Ah, we took care of that. Alright, it's all about the battleship now. I 
get her steering in a, in a screening position. Yeah, that's better. And now it comes down to pounding away at the volcano, which is heavily armored. 13 inch guns, which are really scary. She's got a better chance to hit than we do, being bigger guns, which seems to be the way the game likes it. It likes big guns. She just slow down. Ouch, that hurt. I began to think that we should charge her, which means pick up the pace. Got to close the range. Maria Teresa needs to stand here between the battleships and the torpedo boat threat, which I'm assuming is off here somewhere. Oh, got a flooding. I'm for it. Alright, I kind of like that. What is she doing? She's just getting it, man. 16 knots. Yep, we hope oh, we have taken some bad flooding there. Took a hit in the bow. It's going to slow her down. She should be picking up the pace. Well, Franz Ferdinand is in trouble. Her torpedoes are in her beams on, surf on deck mounted. Let's pick up the pace. Torpedo boats. Secondaries. Secondaries. Yes, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. And... This is gonna get interesting. Almost got her. But we really have to react to those torpedo boats. Alright, she took a good smack. Oh, yeah. Come on, we need a couple of good hits on. I think we've more or less neutralized one of the torpedo boats. But they kind of neutralized our battleships. We're having to pull away. We're having to leave that old wounded girl behind. And Maria Trace is starting to become the focus of the battleship's attention. Which will be freaking awkward. She's got a maneuver. Alright. Here comes torpedoes. Uh the idea of turning back in that direction just got to be a 
very bad one. And I think we began maneuvering the heavy cruiser just in time. That was a nice little hit. She's still well in the fight. She's hurt. Alright, you've got to get on these torpedo boats. And those torpedoes have to pass us before we can seriously re-engage. Alright, she's got the circle around. safe turning back now. Those torpedoes will pass safely ahead of us. She's got to continue engaging the torpedo boats. These guys have to focus back on the volcano. All right, Miss Heavy Cruiser, you're doing a good job smacking down some torpedo boats. And we are still struggling. Oh my God, there's a lot of torpedo boats. Smack, smack. All right. There. In fact, there. Aggressive torpedoes. Okay, back. There. That should have put something in the water to give that torpedo, to give that battleship something to worry about. Oh, we put torpedoes in the water there. Very good. Very good. I don't think there's much of a chance of getting a hit here. I've lost track of one of the, there it is, there it is, a miss, pass behind, that was the uh, cruiser's, that was the cruiser's aggressively launched torpedo, I think he's seen the other one and it missed too, there it is. He doesn't have any torpedoes. I'm for that. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Well, she's gonna have a problem. I don't think she can... There's just no way to maneuver her out of that torpedo. Oh my god, she managed. Oh, we got her. What got her? What got her? Did she blow up too? Yes. Yes. One ammo detonation versus 18.2, which would be... I'm not sure. It must be the effective armor, 18.2. All I know is... All I know is... That worked, uh, Quite well, thank you. And she can come back around. 
Well, I didn't expect that, but then again, I didn't design those AI ships, so, uh... They were probably using Lidite or something that just lit them up. I want you shooting at that one. He is making a strong move on our battleships. need to start turning away like a little while ago. Smack, smack. Got to make it. All right, we got one of the torpedo boats. Pick up the pace fast as you can go, however fast that is, Franz Ferdinand. We need to show our skirts to the torpedo boats. Yes, we do. We don't want it. That's just a fight that we can lose by winning. That was a nice hit. Secondary turret. Oh yes, that was a very nice hit. And we no longer see the bad guys. And we are deliberately moving away. We'll give them a few seconds here to see if they try to pursue. But this is the perfect time to break off, having kept our major units fairly intact. I mean, we, she's, she's hurt. She's, you know, she's more than hurt. She's kind of a wreck. She's lost the aft main turret. Got flotation damage. Siegreich is good and she is good. We have kept these guys intact and they are doing their thing in a most determined fashion. And I'm kind of I'm kind of for it. Struggling. F eleven. I just love that main gun, that main turret facing back toward the tower. Uh, you guys mind not pointing that at us? <laughs> Bridge watch is like, oh man, <laughs> what's up with that? And I don't think they are going. We we just went to 10x possible speed, which means those little boats have lost track of us. Would be my guess. They they don't see us, and uh, we're about to run into each other here because I'm being awkward. Which tells me that in terms of the game, we have we have broken off. We have broken off the engagement. A very successful engagement at that. So there. I think that was cool. Uh, we're going to call it a day. Let's... Uh, so, Radetsky, Radetsky,
or Franz Ferdinand class, not sure which. So very cool, a lot of fun, and easily built even if uh, you know, significantly oversized. At least we get the right layout. That's the status or the state of the game right now. So there you go. Hey, as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.